Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Spear Adventures Guild. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to Midwinter Keening. I'm North Shore DM. I'm excited to get back to playing Dungeons and Dragons with my friends and um, try and not to kill them. Wait. Right? Is that. that we hope that, so. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's see them now that I've scared the bejesus out of them. Here they are. Hello. Uh, Hello, friends. <laughs> wait, what now? <laughs> Joke's on you. I have no bejesus in me. Oh, boy. Hello, everybody. My name is Andy. I'm playing Stieg Egelson, a now fourth level Runewalker wizard. And he's running around frozen Mulgar trying not to get killed right now. That's it. That's all I got tonight. Hey, everybody. I'm Ashley, and I play Astrid Boulder's daughter. Um, and yeah, we're in the middle of a battle. So we, we took a little break, right? And, and everybody kind of forgot that we are on Death's Door, like surrounded by many enemies from hell, um, separated. It's going to be great. <laughs> It is going to be great. Uh, mm -hmm. My name's Dave. I'm hoping we don't all die. I don't recall why I don't have very many hit points less, left. Um, I'm playing Vidar Gormson, who's been hit at least once. Uh, blood on the <laughs> snow and ice, as it were. Uh, fighting alongside Stieg and hoping uh, to prevail. Thank you. Oh, wow. I don't know how to follow that. Hi, I'm Michael. I'm playing uh, Gunder, uh, a um, ala of Thor. Um, he is the, whew, uh, let's see, last heir to the broken throne of the West, of the bloodline of the forgotten Vanir, uh, also grandson of Odin. He's half werewolf, uh, half werebear, half hag. It's going to be a great that, game, guys. None of that is true. I mean, true. to be fair, that's like anybody who wants to be king, that's what they say. Like, I'm this, 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 and this, and it's all those things. I don't know why. Are you trying to get your backstory out so that, like, just in case you die? Just in case he dies. <laughs> well, I mean, that's my backstory now. Just got to change up a few notes. I'll be right back. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um... Yeah. Yep. All of those things are uh, real. You, we did evidently forget that we were in the middle of a large battle. And now we've pulled off the band-aid of vacation. And we're back, <laughs> we're back, to, we're back to bleeding freely into the snow. Um, but before we get to all of that, um, let us talk about the, the announcement-y things. Um, Andy, are you good to talk about the uh, fun uh, merchandising opportunities that we have? Um, yeah, I am. Hey, Dave, let me ask you a question. Yeah, Andy, what's on your mind, man? Do you ever, like, go to a place of business mm. or someone's house and you think, God, this place would look a lot better if it was just covered wall to wall in superior adventure guild merchandise you know it's been so long since i've been in someone's house or to an establishment but you know what i can envision myself asking that very question right i know right well we have the perfect place to pick up all of that stuff we have a web store on the teespring website where you can buy superior adventurers guild t-shirts hoodies wall art Totes, masks, coffee mugs. Ooh, I can get out down on some masks. I'm going to get a mask. Stickers. You can get it all. It's literally the best website on the internet. And what was the, what was the website again? <laughs> we'll, we'll post the link in the chat. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> nice. Awesome. <laughs> I gotta get some one of these days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some of our merch. Um, I would like to tell you, uh, my friends, uh, viewers about some fantastic, uh, convention opportunities, uh, coming up for you, for anyone, for everyone. Uh, it might be that you find yourself a, a fan or perhaps you would like to. To be a fan of the Greyhawk campaign setting, some could say uh, some could say the original D and D campaign setting. Some wouldn't say that, uh, but that's some political shit that we don't need to get into. Uh, but it's an old D and D setting; it's been going a long time. And uh, the folks over at oh boy, uh, the Lord Gazumba Twitch channel have uh, spearheaded and, and formatted a convention of online proportions for. Everyone should get their Greyhawk itch scratched. Uh, lots of really awesome Dungeon Masters uh, are uh, hosting and running games for anybody. Uh, there's going to be a link there. Uh, you can go sign up and check it out and, and play games. Uh, Dave is going to be running a, a game called The Siege of Westkeep that is fully booked, uh, but you'll be able to watch it right here. I'm really excited. Um, it's going to be uh, really, really cool. Um, Dave and I have been talking a lot about it, and um, it'll be fun, I think, both to play and hopefully uh, to watch as well. Uh, and that is October 1st through the 3rd. Uh, and then at the end of that month, October 21st through the 23rd, um, I think legitimately like three weeks later, I don't understand calendars, um, there is Game Hole Con and Virtual Game Hole Con. Game Hole Con, of course, the largest uh, role playing game uh, and tabletop RPG uh, convention. I just said the same thing twice. Uh, convention in the Midwest, uh, right uh, located right in downtown Madison, Wisconsin. Um, and then also there's a virtual component because, of course, COVID is still a, a real thing and we want to be safe and, and uh, understanding of everyone's needs and desires not to get sick and die from COVID. So there is a virtual component as well, uh, which we are participating in. Um, I am running uh, two, two games, one not unlike the movie and movies Alien and Aliens, and one not unlike... Um, thematically anyway uh, the movie Red Dawn um, in both cases you'll play a, a group of plucky youngsters uh, in some cases you'll play uh, youngsters who have of course gone through space marine basic training but you know so so there's a little bit of a difference but plucky youngsters stopping uh, an alien menace from attacking their towns wow I, I'm really thematic aren't I um, but it's going to be super fun I'm really excited there's a link I'm sure in the chat there where you can go and sign up there's a ton of different games and uh all of the things uh that are uh where people talk about things that they like i don't remember what those are called seminars oh wow Ooh, nice seminars you got yeah it. seminars and stuff uh a lot of really good stuff from people you know people you don't know people you will in fact know uh so check those out that's all i got uh dave uh, you may or may not want to tell us about some really special friends that we have. I do. I made some new friends, um, but I don't think that's what you're asking about. I think what you're referencing, Chad, <laughs> is the fact that our campaign, Midwinter Keening, the title's up at the top of the screen, uh, we've got sponsors um, right over here between Ashley and I is the logo for DRS Publishing, Dream Realm Storytellers, guys. They are the amazing creative minds who created the Svelin campaign setting. Um, they just released a, uh, a novel, just came out, called The Bear King. Did I get that yes. right? It, it I nailed it. Yep, that wasn't on the, on the uh, copy here. What's up, guys? It's not even on here. Um, our producer doesn't, doesn't care. Uh, but look, we, uh, we're excited because we are giving away a bunch of their content tonight. Yep, that's right. Uh, TTRPG Academy, Fantasy Animal Vegan, other friends in the chat. We're going to give away the Course Feeling Campaign Setting Rulebook, the South Sea Region Guide, Untold Sagas Lore Book, Into the Wolf's Maw, and Freya's Tears. Guys, this is everything you would need to run your own Svelin campaign. Uh, we highly encourage you to do so. We're having a blast. Chad, thank you for running this one. 
Um, I imagine we'll run many more of these in the future. But first of all, I want to tell folks how they can win. All you have to do is type the code word DRS into the chat. Uh, Andy's going to show you how to do it. And you will be entered to win DRS. That's it. That's all it takes, guys. Uh, if you enter DRS, we will draw a lucky winner at the end of the stream. And, um, and that's about all I can tell you. The one other thing I guess I should mention is that right below me right here, there's a link. You can go check out their entire catalog at drive through RPG. That's where it is. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, thanks my friend. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, if, if you haven't checked out their stuff, check it out. It's Phrase bad. Tears is a level one to 20 campaign. Um, it's epic it's yeah it's huge um anyway let's uh let's get into a little bit of a recap uh for anybody who uh was able to soldier through the last session one um, important note that oh, i have oh, to sorry. announce go ahead if you look in twitch chat you will see that someone who will remain anonymous but it's definitely fantasy animal vegan may have given the dm not one not two not three not four but five advantage with an emote about zombies rising up and trying to kill us. I'm going to so, write that down. Oof. Yeah. Five Fantasy advantage. animal vegan. Just thank share, you for sharing the support. It, sharing it with yep. me today. It was Dave yesterday. So thank yep. you so much for You're that. Good people. Uh, my, my players are going to hate you, um, but that's okay. <laughs> that's what, what that's what this is all you. about. Um, all right. Um, so let us, uh, let's, let's do a little recap. Um, so I know, uh, first off, I know that um, if you were if you were with us last session uh, two weeks ago, um, thanks for still being here because uh, that was a little snafu. Um, it, and I'm not sure all what all was uh, made it through into the final cut. So well, I'm going to talk you through some stuff. So of course, um, the players, characters, the, the characters have. Uh, um, you know, done a bunch of stuff, slain many enemies, encountered the undead, uh, Draugr. Uh, you know, at one point there was uh, a Draugr trying to bring uh, one of the characters back into the bog from whence it came, um, but it, it failed because I rolled very bad uh, for that Draugr. Um, and so all of these uh, visions of these uh, these battles the people that they've slain um, and whatnot ha had uh, had been seeping into their dreams. And there was like, you know, some nightmare stuff going on. Um, and, uh, you know, and then they woke up. But when they woke up, they realized that it wasn't just their dreams. Bad stuff was happening here in town where they, of course, had recently come back to after a little bit of a, a jaunt away from town. Um, they of course uh, found the town under attack by uh, a, perhaps a person could say the forces of hell. Um, some very um, grotesque uh, individuals um, kind of championing their way uh, forcefully into town. Uh, large, uh, very large, lumbering uh, masses of flesh and entrails and blood and guts with meat hooks on ropes and chains, uh, pulled the gates of the town down um, so that a number of, uh, a, a good knot of Draugr could, could flood into the town and start wreaking havoc. And then from the, from the river side of town, from the south, um, a large, um, equally grotesque uh, individual uh, with the faces of perhaps people he's slain or or what it's hard to tell but the definitely faces sewn into this person's flesh on his chest um and uh to the horror of the party once they encountered that that person they did of course discover that uh those faces were still moving eyes looking around perhaps mouths moving and unheard screams uh he was using a cool whip, <laughs> cool, a cool whip, a cool whip to uh, uh, drive uh, other Draugr on to to slay 
um, and to cause destruction. There were uh, wolves uh, marked by hell, uh, similar to those that the party had encountered on their trip uh, most recently along the river um, that had broken into the town and were attacking townsfolk in the streets, um, perhaps sucking the very spirits out of their fallen bodies. Um, buildings were on fire. It was mass hysteria. Dogs and cats were living together. Some real Old Testament shit. Yeah, that's how it happened, Michael. You can look at me all question face, <laughs> but that's what that's what happened. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, yeah, the party, you know, at various spots, everyone is kind of like spread out around town, uh, started um, ultimately, they were like, oh, there's some big bad guys. Let's, each of the two groups were like, oh, well, the big bad guys, we'll go to them, um, which, of course, they did. Um, Stieg and Vidar uh, had uh, spent the night at Samen, Stieg's mentor's hut, um, and they had uh, come out of the hut and engaged the force that was assaulting the town from the, the river, this big whip-wielding face so on guy, um, which I believe they actually fell that dude, uh, but not before he ripped spirits out of the dead to assault them as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Gunder and Astrid uh, staying at the the Storyteller's Inn um, had come out of the inn and seen these large, two large blubbering um, meat hook dudes and their draugr assaulting the, 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 the gate had engaged them. Um, and uh, I believe it was the whip wielding guy had mentioned that, hey, we're here for the girl or whatever. Um, I think all he really got for his asking was a, a large piece of steel in the gut, I'm sure, is probably what happened. Perhaps a fire, some fire to the face by Stieg, who, of course, loves to throw fire, especially when he's drunk. Um, oh, shit. And uh, as. As the uh, as our time uh, plane came to an end, of course, the roof of the uh, of the uh, of the temple uh, where the 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 girl Tyra, who has had been possessed by perhaps by hell, um, was being housed, um, blew off in a column of black fire. So. That's bad. Um, so let's get back to it, shall we? Uh, I did not. Re <laughs> I did not remember the temple roof being blasted <laughs> off. So, yep. Uh, yep. also great cool whip reference. Cool whip. Cool whip. Um. So yeah. So um. To kind of go over, uh, no. kind of go over some of that again. So we've got Stieg, you and uh, Vidar are down on the ice. Mm -hmm. uh, you have just felled the uh, the whip wielding guy. The um, I believe he is called specifically. Uh, these are the, the creatures that you too can find in the Sphelian campaign setting. Yeah, they're um, nasty oh, as hell. Let's scroll Is this a hell tormentor? Yes, yep, the hell tormentor. There he is on screen for everybody to see. This artwork is freaking fantastic. That's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sphelian, uh, it's dark. Oh yeah, it's dark. So yeah, the Hell Tormentor, you've just fallen or felled him. Uh, there is um, a, 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 a a number of, of, of tormented spirits that have been pulled from pulled from the dead that are assailing you. Uh, there is a knot of Draugr uh, that is kind of being uh, beaten back by a number of townsfolk. 
uh, one of the fishermen's huts is on fire. Um, up near the gates, uh, Astrid and uh, Gunder and another, also a knot of men, uh, townsfolk, are facing, I believe now just one, because I think you did take down one of the hell brutes. Um, Astrid has, of course, uh, very deftly turned some a bunch of undead away, um, and they are fleeing like undead. Oh, Does he have Meanwhile, of, sagging out of his belly. Is that what that is? Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, there is uh, there are a number of hell wolves. Um, uh, facing off against different uh, groups of of, uh, of of townsfolk, there's another building on fire. Um, there's kind of it's uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of people in a lot of places moving, um, mm -hmm. um, and you don't necessarily have a full scope of everything, but it is very chaotic. Um, so. Yeah. Um, Gulp. I, if I, I think this is all in order. I think I have the initiative order written down, but I don't know where we oh, were in you, the initiative. What, what do you have? I have... Wait for it. It's a long time ago. I have at the top Steeg, then you, Chad, then Gunder, yep. Veter, Astrid. Good. My table tents are still in order. Um, <laughs> That's how I do it. I just... Just put them, on, put them in order. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then, of course, remember um, that um, at, at least at the moment, uh, we are in a very kind of uh, a little more of a cinematic mode um, where we're not entirely worried about the normal sort of action economy um, as far as, like, what you can can or cannot do uh on your turn um so when it's your turn yep yeah so when it's your turn i'll be like hey what do you what do you want to do and then you'll be like oh well um so let me just do that's what i like oh uh, man I've... it's right there's okay. there's a lot going on <laughs> right I'm gonna use sure. this. I'm gonna use this death spirit token, um, just to kind of represent what's going on. I don't actually have a token for her, so. Oh, um, her! Just, That's this is gonna go great. Uh, the death. I mean, uh, what's happening over there at the temple? Sure. Uh, you mean you mean Tyra? <laughs> <laughs> now we're saying her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got a bad feeling about um, what Steve. happened to that young girl. Yes, my my friend. Um, what would you like to do? Okay, uh, there's. Is this like a ghost or something in front of me? Echo. Like good name. Echo. Echoing. It's there. Never mind. Are we better? Nope, your audio is still on. Oh, I see. Okay, that should be better. Yes. All right. Um, this um, is this like what was the deal with this um ghost spirit? Yeah, the spirits. Uh, the the hell tormentor ripped. Uh, the tormented spirits of those who had been slain by the Draugr um, and bent them to his will and they have attacked you. Hmm. That's not cool. Yeah, there's a lot of like wailing and gnashing of teeth. It's that kind of thing. So that thing's like, cause, okay, that thing's like actively kind of like pursuing us right now? Yes. All right. I'm going to grab the rune stone and mm -hmm. holding it out, launch magic missile at it. Nice. Okay. 
So that is, um, I believe that expels one charge from the rune stone, if I'm understanding that correctly. Yes. Okay. And that would be three darts. Yep. Sorry, I'm catching pew, up pew, here. Pew. Three darts. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Uh, eight plus three, 11 force damage. All right. Nice. Yeah. <sighs> Is it? It's not like right on me, right? It's like a ways away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to just kind of swing around, get closer to Vidar over here. Okay. Your darts um, fly and and make contact, and uh, a, a, a a couple of the spirits disperse their energy or form, or perhaps their function even uh, destroyed by your powers. Oh, it's my turn. It, yeah. Yeah. Um, let's. Uh, hmm. Let's deal with them since I'm right there. Uh, the the remaining tormented spirits um, move towards you um, as as they do. The the wailing and the cries um, from them uh, fill your ears. Uh, Andy, uh, uh, Vidar, and Steek, please make wisdom saving throws. I just read something about this. Hold on. 18 for Vidar. Mm -hmm. You're good. You're good. Poof. I think I feel like somebody had made this saving throw before already <laughs> and is thus immune to it. I don't remember. Um, so we'll um, just roll with it. I'm just double checking my character description, the path of protection. I think I get a uh, once per day autumn um, advantage on saving throws. Okay. Let me just double check that real quick. You also do have an advantage from fantasy animal vegan. Yeah. As a reaction, I can choose to have advantage on my next saving throw. Okay. Once once I use it, I have to finish a long rest. Nice. So I'm going to use that one now. I'm going to save my other advantage. Okay. Missed. Hey. Nice. Natural twenty. Yeah. Uh, nice. You the the both of you kind of um, shirk off the effects that you feel. Um, as these voices um, fill your ears. Um, but then, of course, it's going to attack. Um, and it uh, lets out a scream um, targeting uh, Stieg. And Stieg uh, does a 15 hit you. Probably. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. All right. Um, in that case, I would like you to take 11 Jesus. points of psychic damage and make another wisdom saving throw, please. This does not sound good. All right. A 16. All right. Uh, you are, yeah, you, one. you, you do not succumb to agony. Kai Whimsy uh, with yeah. an advantage for the party. Thanks, Kai Whimsy. Thanks, nice. Kai. Enjoy that Mountain Dew. Um, <laughs> these Draugr and these townsfolk battle each other. Yeah, the townsfolk um, prevailing against the Draugr, um, and. Um, beating them back some 
Uh, the remaining hell brute. Um, he doesn't like Astrid. He doesn't like Astrid. Um, so how he rude! Is, how could you not like banned. Astrid? He is banned. banned. You're correct. He's banned. All right. Which means yeah. he rolls a, a D C four and removes it and removes it from his attack rolls. Number of attacks. Nice. Thanks, TTRPG Academy. All Dang. Right. TTRPG Academy just gifted a bunch of people subs. Nice. Thank you. Thank wow. you. Thank, yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're a good you guys, man. Intro. Everybody should also go follow TTRPG Academy's yeah, for uh, Twitch for sure. Uh, drop that in here. All right. Uh, he is going to levy his, his uh, meat hook swinging it across the space to hook you perhaps Astrid uh, how does a 19 feel oof pokey after the <laughs> D, after the negative d4 oh yeah. yeah negative d4 I apologize how does a 17 feel still pretty pokey <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I mean, you said I'm being hit with a meat hook, right? Yep, that's true. It is yeah, a very large yeah. meat hook. Um, Look at that thing. I know. You got to figure his hand is probably like the size of your head. Um, so uh, mm -hmm. he would like to um, hook you for six points of piercing damage. Um, and then I would like you to please make a dexterity acrobatics check. Okay. Um let me Okay. Uh twelve for dexterity. Alright, you not are real not good. you are not prone as he as he hooks as he hooks you. Um Um but I would like to react. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. Yes. Here we go. What yeah, are you what are you what are you reacting? I'm not out of those yet. <laughs> Um, who's, is there anybody, um, within 30 feet of me? Yeah. I mean, I would say uh, the Hellbreed is probably within 30 feet of you. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, this is, this isn't a friendly fire thing. Um, so any enemies within 30 feet are going to have to succeed on a constitution saving throw. Oh, all right. Um, beat a 14. I did that. I did that. Okay. Well, then nothing happens. I get ready to, like, you know, send that pain back out and... No. It just fizzles. The pain, it's too close to pleasure. <laughs> no? That's a song. I don't know. Ew. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's gross. Um... So I said that. Uh, it's biology. Yeah, and then um, because he can, he's gonna swing that meat that meat hook around and and hook Gunder, uh, but miss horribly. Uh, it 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 goes sailing over your head, um, and uh, does not harm you. And uh, let me roll for some more townsfolk and enemies. Oh, the townsfolk, they're doing good this they're doing good this round. Um, the townsfolk at the gate um, assisting you uh, put some spears into this brute. Gunder, you are up and and then Vidar, you are on deck. <laughs> This 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 fat boy aggression will not stand. These these meat hooks are not not acceptable weapons of war. They're violations of the Geneva Convention. Uh, and um, Gunder doesn't care about any of that, but he is very angry that it's you know hooked Astrid. He he takes that personally, um, and he is going to just ram forward with his shield and start raining blows down down upon this fat. Fucking monster. Yep. <laughs> Which is only one attack, unfortunately. And that attack is a number. 
And that number is a beep bop 15. Ooh. Yep. That's good. Nice. You have rained down with great furious vengeance anger. and furious anger. Um, and this, this situation has Gunder concerned because the top has come off of a temple nearby in black fire. So he is going to smite with his strike for an extra 2d... 3d8 holy damage because this is undead oh. or 3d8 radiant so hold on it's not undead. nice oh it's not undead no the draugr are the draugr are undead is but it a hellbrood. fiend the hellbrood is a fiend but okay he is not undead. well good to know so holy doesn't, shit doesn't sign affect <laughs> them too Say again, Andy. Doesn't smite affect fiends Ooh, as well? Nice. I, I mean, yeah. So uh, that's twenty points of damage. Twenty points of damage. Wow. Get it. Just oh, and and uh, brain math good. Uh, of that twenty twelve is thunder. Nice. Um, yeah. Please describe for us um, how perhaps. This lightning um, showers Thunder. you and your friends with the body part of this guy. Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening. It is yep. just, you know, shove forward, rams the shield in to kind of push it back. The sword comes up, lightning flashes from the clear sky, and it comes down, and unfortunately it does blow it into a fountain of fetid gore. Yeah, it's real gross. At which point, covered in awful, um, Gunder's going to look at Astra and go, we must get to the temple. And he promptly takes off running towards the temple. All right. Move yourself some distance, please. Vidar. Vidar looks over at Stieg and says, the lightning... What the hell is going on? And then he's going to look around. Uh, what what does he see for foes in front of him? Is it this un, is it this ghostly apparition type thing? Yep. Yeah, there is uh, there is a a, uh, a a ghost sort of figure, ghostly figure. Um, you can see um, a, a mass of Draugr. Um, facing off against uh, a knot of men uh, or, or townsfolk on the beach. Is it kind of by the fi- where that fire's burning? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. He is going to race forward with his sax drawn. Um, I do... I don't know... I have in my notes that I have used a spell. I'm pretty sure it was Zephyr Strike. It was. I don't... It was. I don't know if I made a constitution saving throw for the damage I took or not. I'm assuming I did. I don't know if you recall that or not. Uh, we'll say you did. Okay. So if he still has that active, he's got a lot of movement. I can move 70. Uh, and so he is going to run up to the apparition creature that's pretty much right in front of him. Mm-hmm. He's going to kind of s- drop to his knees, slide across the ice, Swing the sacks up at it to strike, and then keep moving towards the uh, the other civilians and say, "Stig, follow me." So I will roll to attack with my sacks, just like Kenny G does. Uh, Four. but that's only going to be a fourteen. Only a fourteen. Uh, that I be fine. Let me just. I was distracted. There they and it is oh, a yeah, ma- yeah, totally, magical damage. That totally hits. Okay, totally so hits. that will do a total of eight slashing damage eight. of the magical variety. All right. And then um, he'll keep moving, like I said, as far as he can get seventy feet total towards um, where the where the uh, townsfolk are being attacked by Draugr. Okay. Um, yeah, you can. You'll probably get. Um, just like kind of to the here I'll go perfect yeah 
And I think that is, um, well, actually, I do have a bonus action. Nope. Okay, so you can probably get right up. You can probably get right up behind the Draugr if you like. Okay. Um, nope, that's it. That's my turn. Okay. Astrid. Sorry yeah. to tell you you're on deck. No, that's right. right. Um, so I've got um, spiritual weapon out. Um, so my my giant um, anime sized blue sword um, mm -hmm. is still out there. So I'm going to use my bonus action first and slice whatever I can reach with that guy. Okay. Um, I don't think there's um, anything left. Because... Yeah, you pretty much have the the Draugr have have move the lot of the okay. Draugr have moved away because um, of you yeah um and <laughs> nicely done yeah with the with this these two hell brutes now uh fallen um there is okay. uh nothing assaulting the gate okay um then uh i'm just gonna have it move um as far as it can uh towards the direction I want to go, um, just in case it doesn't flick out while I'm running. Um, so I get 20 feet um, in the direction that Gunder went. Okay. Yeah, you saw um, him kind then, of run off down down the street and then took some corners. Right. You very I mean, laughed where he was going. Yeah, I right. He's he's going to the temple um, for the girl, um, and let's see. Then I am going to. Well, if there's nothing, do I? Since I'm right next to those corpses, do I see anything like valuable that I can quickly grab? Like you know, like yeah. oh my god, his sword looks really good, or or something like that. And I would pick it up, not like a. I'm going to slowly roll his body during the middle of this battle. <laughs> right, right. Um, <laughs> this sure, is high-end D&D &D right here. <laughs> give this me is, a... This uh, is it. This is it. I would allow either uh, probably a perception roll, I think, just as you kind of... You're just kind of making a quick glance over this. Ooh, these two dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I rolled a 17. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, 21. All right, let me, let me see. Uh, so uh, you can see, you know, they both have these, um, these giant meat. I mean, these meat hooks are like the size of your arm, you know, forearm. They're big, uh, attached to the mm -hmm. lengths of chain. There's uh, 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 weapons that, you know, are in the form of a sax, but they're like the size of like Gunder's sword. They're, they're big. Um, and, uh, let's do, give me a, fuck it. Give me a D 100 roll. Oh, yeah, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> two. All right. Let me, yeah, two out of a hundred. Let me just. Uh, Is that good, right? Let's find out. Let's go to page one hundred seven. A two. Either really good or really bad. It's so good. Um, you you can see uh, you, quickly looking about, you can see that uh, uh, he uh, the one that Gunder oh. just s killed. You can see his like. His head and, and kind of upper chest have kind of rolled over near you. And you can see he's, he's got like a thick gold chain on. Uh, not unlike something that like... Um, Flava Flav? Mr. T would wear. Um, oh, but I'm, instead of I'm all of the cool that. things... Instead of all the cool things that are normally on gold chains, um, it, it's definitely a, a series of, let's say... seven ears oh just kind of threaded through this gold chain like human ears um yeah probably <sighs> looking like human ears okay yeah um i'm still grabbing it because it's gold um all right all right but like like in a 
ew. <laughs> uh, and then I'm running. <laughs> sure. Give me a, give me a, just give me a strength roll. Um, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you, you're able to kind of pull the snap <laughs> and it, it, it comes loose and you have a, a lion. This is a, because this is a big dude. So this is like a big size gold chain. Um, you know, so it's probably like, I don't know, three, four feet of gold chain Jeez. with a bunch of human ears on it. It needs to be cleaned. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, some I'll, just, deep, I'll try some to like deep shove, cleaning. It, shove it in a pocket or something as I'm running. Um, and then I'm going to run after Gunder. Um, okay. if, is there a shortcut I can take? Um, or is the road the best? Yeah, so you could, um, you could say cut between the wall and the inn to kind of cut through yards okay. to get up the hill. Um, could be yeah. could be faster um, depending on how the snowpack is. Uh, the benefit of running on the road is uh, that's where people have traveled a lot, right? So um, there's yeah. there are probably some um, some trails that people have used getting in and around between yards and stuff um but well being that i live at the inn and have yep. for a few years if if i know of a way that is you know Hell yeah, tried I'll and true yep. i would take yeah, it you, otherwise i would not yeah you you know of uh of uh, a way through essentially um so you can kind of shortcut okay. like to here no problem sweet Astrid, you also have another advantage from Vamp Wickman. Vamp Wickman Thanks. is here. <laughs> I can uh, use him. I started this game with zero. <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, Stieg. Um, yes. You're up, man. <laughs> I'm on deck. <laughs> All right. Seeing Vidar run off, I'm going to go... Oh, actually, hang on. Give me, give me, give me, give me one thing real quick. Sorry, mm -hmm. I apologize. There was one thing I meant to do. Um, at the top of the round, some bad shit happens. Yep. Um, let's deal with that. Mm -hmm. Um, so this, um, uh, all of you, uh, in whatever fashion, are ultimately kind of facing in the direction of the, of the, uh, of the temple um, whether or not you're looking at it directly but you all kind of are able to see this you can see this like large column of like black flames um you probably even see like the pieces of the roof like kind of raining down over parts of the town um and uh you all hear uh this kind of rushing um uh of uh like a, of of wind um and it it kind of fans the flames and they kind of lick wildly um they don't necessarily seem to be burning in the way that normal flames do uh such as the flames on these buildings here um but uh you begin to hear a a, wh a whaling um uh of uh a terrible sounds uh please roll Wisdom saving throws. Everybody? All of us? Yep, all uh, the lot. Aye, of you, the lot of us. Aye. Oh yeah. Net twenty. Net twenty. Nice. That's a nine. A nine? nine for me too. Nine and Astrid. You know what? I'm gonna use an advantage. <laughs> So right. I'm going to use an advantage too. <laughs> yeah. So All, right. All right. All right. Because I'm that's you a got him. now. Okay. That's still a 12. It's 12. better. Okay. Oh Eight. my God. I rolled two nines. <laughs> oh. Plus zero. All right. Um, Oof. So. So. Oh no. Where did my thing go? I just, I figure this isn't going to be good. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kai Whimsy. Stieg and Astrid, you have been recharged with a, an additional 
advantage from Kai Whimsy. Aww. Yeah, thanks, man. Oh, Kai Whimsy. Oh, man. You cutie. Um, okay. So, everyone, uh, so you, uh, those of you who made it will take uh, half of five. What was the DC? 12. Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So Stieg, Stieg failed. Everyone else succeeded. Uh, so those of you who succeeded, um, y you will take half of five psychic damage. Uh, Stieg will take a full five psychic damage. Um, and you are uh, agonized. Stieg. What's agonized. Um, trying to find it in front of my face. My I temporary hit points are gone. All right. Why did... My regular hit points are almost gone. Control. Uh, nope. I've got plenty of hit points. We're good. Tank. Oh, yeah. Ah, page 106. Thank you. Quick, everyone Did figure out what's on it? page 106. I've got it. So, A creature uh, that is agonized has its speed reduced by 10 feet and takes... Two one d four psychic damage at the end of each of its oh turns until it is no longer agonized. So you get to make a um, wisdom save each on each of your turns. I'm assuming. No. no. Uh, oh, we also no. can't can't cast these spells that require concentration. Oh no! And any concentration spells fail Chad. when they become agonized, so they're no longer baned. No I love baned. this already. Wait, are we all agonized? No, 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 just me. But just, I'm gonna go down. Just, just Stieg. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought it it was. I got half, and I'm agonized. No, just, just yeah. sorry. Steve. And this is just the top of the Steve, top of the agonized. order too. We're just at the top of the initiative order. Yeah. There's there's more to come. <laughs> I mean, this condition this condition is like exclusive to Sveeland, right? That's yeah. agonized. Yeah. How yeah. dare you, Dream Realm storytellers? <laughs> I know that you. I know that you are the sponsor of this campaign but how dare you <laughs> it's so That's brutal amazing. it really yeah, is really it. brutal that might that might find its way into greyhawk <laughs> <laughs> i like it i like it uh, hey this is this is straight like up my character's alley oh yeah, uh, yeah not a problem for Astrid. domain yeah all right so yeah the 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 sounds of these um uh of of like a thousand tormented souls um, or perhaps more, um, the, the the cries of Helheim itself stream forward out of out of this fire. Uh, mm. Stieg, what do you do? Um, I think he dies. No. Well, at at the end of my turn. Okay, fair enough. I'll probably die. But um, right now, I'd like to try to cast false life false life on myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, doesn't show that it's. How do I know if it's concentration? I guess It'll I don't know. Say concentration. It should say con. It is. It is concentration. That makes sense. Thanks. So I can't. <clears throat> no, nope. not if you're agonized. All right. You I'm know, just... we were going to buy healing potions this morning. <laughs> just simply um, fuck them. Most life isn't concentration. <laughs> we all... you know it's not. It's we're not a concentration. concentration. Andy. Holy shit! Steve, okay. it is not concentration. All yeah. right, I will cast false life on myself yeah. to try what, and not die. At, at what level? Uh, I'll upcast that shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at, at second level, because I'm fourth level. Yep, yep. Um, well done, Dave. Thank you. <laughs> thanks for reminding me. I can do that. Um, all, all right. So roll, roll your, roll your D four plus one or plus four, and then add an additional five. Now here's a question before he rolls that real quick. Can he use an advantage on this? No. Okay. All right. All right. I tried it. I tried, Stieg. I tried. Well, it wouldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't do me any good. Oh yeah. Nice. Eight. So eight plus five is math. Nine. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen temporary hit points. Oh, glorious. That's good. Yeah. Nice, dude. Really. Very nice. Okay. Um, then, okay, so that was my action. 
I'm going to run like a scared fool after Vidar. Yeah. Giving those ghosts a real wide berth. Okay. So I yeah, don't know you're how far able, I you're can able to it. do that. Yeah, you can. Uh... Can I move <laughs> up here by him? Yeah, we'll say we can get you. We'll probably get you over here because your movement is reduced. Oh, that's right. Because you're agonized. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's me. Oh, I got to take my damage now, though. Oh yes. Um. So uh, here, let me roll a d4 the for D&D, you. The D and D gods one. give it, and they take it away. You'll take so, and those that goes off of your temporary hit points in this case. So you'll take one point of damage. Oh. Okay. It, okay. I think it's two one d fours. No, two just, is is the oh. average. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, I gotcha. Yep. So just one. Um, so. Youch. Oh, do I get to try to save again though? At the end of my turn. From agonized. Yeah. Nope. It's it says it's a, it's a condition, right? I mean, um, did I read it wrong? Cha- oh, that's channel divinity. Um, the it condition is a condition. Agonized. The the source that's giving the condition should say how the condition ends. Yeah, like the the length of time that they can be agonized for. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, that that effect is if you fail your save, you will die within a minute. Let's uh, let's say that it'll be for this round, and then you'll make you know though there'll, there'll be another effect that will happen at the top of the round again, where yeah. where wherein you will have a chance to either save and not be affected by it, or not save and continue to be affected by it. I think we okay. need to end this combat quickly. <laughs> you know, it is a shame that you guys got separated from your healers. He's about to skip town. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> don't worry. Depending on how this goes, there may not be a town to skip. Right. I just want to point out it's... that, man, false life is dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. There, there's a warlock invocation where you can do that at will, and I'm having second thoughts about not taking that. Yeah. Wait, no you're kidding. a warlock too? Oh, no, I'm a warlock necromancer in a different game. In another oh. life. Is that the one where you're a were raven and a were jackal as well? <laughs> yep. Oh, no, he's a pirate necromancer with a secret ship that's following the ship they're on, made of bones that sails on the high seas, protecting a good buddy from the pirates. Got it. That sounds ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, Steve, however, there are still some tormented souls after you. Uh, they are going to scream at you. Okay. Oh, no. Because that's what they do. They just scream. So 23 uh, will assault you. 23 to hit? Yes. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Okay. As they as they scream out at you. Um, and then you will take... Eight points of psychic damage. Mm-mm. Okay. Um, but since you are currently agonized, y- you will not need to make the saving throw that against that to be agonized again from them, because that would be redundant. You can't be more. I'm already agonized. I can't be more agonized. Mm-mm. Not with that attitude, you can't. Yeah. There are <laughs> levels of exhaustion. There can be levels of agony. Come on. There could be. <laughs> That's yeah. That would be not good. Uh, Gunder, you are up. Vidar, you are on deck. I don't like the screaming, so I'm gonna keep. The, uh, Gunder is going to keep running towards that there, um, what you call it, temple. Yep. Um, I don't know how close he can get given our cinematic timing. You let me know. Yeah, you you'd be able to. Um, you you can find a path um, through. Uh, up like straight up the hill if you want. Yeah, straight up the hill. Yeah, yeah. You kind of barrel through the snow and and follow some probably kids' paths up and around the area. You know, you can see there's oh there was some people played used to play snowball fight right there, right up until the that was where I punched my first person yeah, and then right. got beat yep. the fuck out. Um, 
as you approach this thing, uh, you know, you can see this, uh, the, the, the windows of the building are kind of, um, partially blown out. You can see, uh, like an eerie kind of, um, I guess like a black light effect kind of like there's like this dark light, you know, like an, it happens on TV, special effects, right? Um, it's hard to describe, but there's like the uh, this kind of dark light um, that you can kind of see um, of this these these uh, hell flames. Um, the the wailing, the sounds are are um, you know almost deafening um, this close, um, and you can. Uh, you can kind of see as you kind of approach through the door, you can see uh, the form uh, of this uh, girl, Tyra. Um, she's kind of like floating kind of in the center of the, of the room in the kind of the center of this, this column of, of black flame. Um, uh, a, a, a wind that isn't there kind of blowing her hair, um, her feet kind of, her body is, it's, it's kind of weird. Cause it almost looks like limp, you know, like her body and arms kind of limp, uh, or her, uh, sorry, her, her legs just kind of hang and dangle. Um, and she's almost like pulled up by the chest, um, her head, uh, her mouth kind of in a perpetual scream. Um, but you can see, um, a, I'm talking too loud. Uh, I'm getting excited. My <laughs> wife just told me I'm talking too loud. Um, you can see, uh, that she raises, she raises one hand, um, and you can see the body of, uh, what's his name? You knew, you knew the priest. Yeah, uh, the priest of tear. Yeah. yeah. What's his name? Tor, 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 uh, tor, tor, tor gear. Dude, tor we gear. just tor gear. Yeah. I almost got tor it. Gear. I almost got it. Yep. You were close. He was so nice to us. He gave you us can see, necklaces. We you can barely see, knew him. You can see he's, <laughs> he's kind you of You like, heartless <laughs> bastard, Stieg. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You can I mean, see, like, he uh, went too soon. You know? Well, he's not dead yet. There's a chance. You can see as she oh, raises... Oh, kill him. She, one of her, she raises her hand. Um, he is kind of like, you know, levitated almost um, um, off the ground um, uh, in 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 pain. What do you do, dude? Do I have any action left? Sure. The run in and shield basher. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, give me a give me a roll. Uh, athletics or melee attack? Um, Does it matter? It's a one. Okay, that's Aye. fair. Yeah, you. Um, she's kind of hovering off the ground, right? Um, so you kind of you run in and um, you. There's like a moment where you're like, oh fuck, is this? Is this fire going to burn me? Like, what's going to happen as I cross this threshold? Um, and, you know, there's... Uh, you kind of cross... You're like, fuck it. Like, we got to live now, right? So you rush in, and there's... As you kind of break that... The meniscus of this effect, um, you know, you feel... Your, your skin is kind of tingly... Um, uh, you can feel that. It, I mean, it might be a problem if you're in here for uh, some time, but at the moment, it is. It is not a super issue. Um, it is a little. It's 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 hard to breathe. Um, the air um, is uh, almost strangely cold, as if uh, you know, on those, you know, on nights when people die in their houses, cold. Um, and you you kind of take a leap to to bash into her um and um slip a bit perhaps on um a broken glass from the windows uh and uh don't get a good jump and miss like you do as you as you do it happens uh vidar 
I envision my familiar Iceland would swoop down over me, having surveyed the scene uh, and telepathic telepathically communicate perhaps that there's something going on at the temple and maybe even that she saw Gunder over there, perhaps. Um, give me a, give me a, give me a perception roll. Okay. For her. For her, and I think she gets advantage. advantage. Yep. Yep. So a 17 uh, plus whatever Probably she gets, like a, which is a three plus three. A five. Uh, yep. Plus three. So 20. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that tracks. Okay. So then Vidar is going to turn uh, and see Stieg right behind him and not really, yep. not just knowing Stieg is there, thinking everything's fine. And he's going to race forward uh, using all of his movement, which is 70 to yep. uh, race past the Draugr, okay. uh, which does not provoke an attack of opportunity because he's got uh, Zephyr. Mm -hmm. And can I get to the, with 70 feet of movement, can I get to the where Gunder is? Yeah, yeah, with your... If your not, I would use in, my dash action for another narrative 40 narrative time, uh, we'll say, because you got to go a little bit out of your way because you got to go up the... Up yep. the stairs, because this this part is a little bit of a heftier bit. So you're probably able to get, say, to there with your movement. Okay. In, um, this, in this narrative space. Okay. I am going to... Shit. I'm not going to shit, actually. That's not what I wanted to do as my action. I mean, it uh, makes you move faster. faster. You got to get yeah. rid of that stuff. Builds up. That's true. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to use my action to dash t up okay. to support Gunder. Yeah, you you uh, you rush in um, uh, to the. Uh, you can get into the temple for sure if you would like. You can see. I'll get you, to the door. You see this, and I'll okay. peer in. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You see. So you see this kind of column of, of this fire, um, almost, almost, uh, from this distance, it's almost, um, like shadow fire. It's not like it, it, it has a different kind of spectral quality to it almost. Um, and you can see, you see the form of the girl and the, 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 the gothi and, and you see, uh, Gunder there. Holy shit, like, Gunder! That's my turn. All right. Astrid. All right. I am going to keep heading for the temple. How far can I get in my regular movement? Um, are you moving? So moving along the road, um, you could probably get to... Here, here with your normal movement. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, then I, I guess I'll have to dash. Um, okay. Though I'm afraid I'll miss... Mm, will I lose my spiritual weapon if I do that? Yeah, you will... Um, I mean, it's still there, You, but you'll move beyond its range. Um which, you know, will move a little further than it would normally because we're in that weird narrative movement space. But, yeah, it's you You would move kind of out of its range. Then, you know what, I'm going to wait. Um, I'm I'm going to, you know, let it catch up a little bit okay. and, um, and not uh, dash. Um, th so, like, the flames, you said there's, like, spiritual like flames coming out of the roof yeah. um do they obviously look like weird or or the sort of almost looks like real fire yeah like it like yeah like it looks like yeah so it looks like real fire except for the color is wrong and mm -hmm. like it's obviously not like it's not like burning the building you know like it's not spreading yeah. in that way, um, and it's it ha it doesn't have quite um, 
it's a, like it doesn't have quite the um the forceful presence like the solid presence that a real raging fire can have mm -hmm. can i see um any enemies within 60 feet um not in this not in this area okay. um uh there do not appear to be any assaults from this direction um you can see up ahead um probably uh, there were there was a large uh, kind of group of townsfolk kind of um up in this area kind of in some of these buildings and now that this uh event has happened um perhaps they are reconsidering okay. Uh, their position. Okay. All right. Well, then I can't do anything, and I'll just okay. I'll just leave it. Okay. As, as All such. right. Let's uh, let's take a break. Mm. And then and then we'll come back and see what happens. Um. But I could use a little bit of a break. Let's do it. Um, so, yeah, let's do like uh, 10 minutes. We'll come back. Um, remember, uh, there's a giveaway. Uh, DRS in the chat um, gets gets you the possibility of winning the entire catalog Ooh. of Svelin products by Ooh. Dream Realm Storytellers. Really fantastic quality stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll be right back. that was hello <laughs> welcome back <laughs> i hope your break was worthwhile uh mine was i got some more i got some more beer it's tasty i smelled the chicken that's in the oven right now which smells really good i'm really Ooh. waiting for it. i'm excited um but uh yeah we're back uh here at the top of the order in good old molgor uh, under the assault of the forces of hell uh for sure, I think I think we're all in. We're all on the same page now. That that is probably really what's happening. Um, mm -hmm. The um, the voices <clears throat> continue to scream out in agony and p 
pain, um, assaulting your ears, um, requiring you each to make saving throws again. I'm going to go ahead and um, use an advantage, please. Okay. Um, I will let you know that the two of you, uh, Vidar and Gunder, who are, of course, very... Oh, so actually, you know what? Only Gunder, because he's inside the flames. Um, his 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 will be a more difficult DC uh, because he is inside. Then I guess I'm going to use oh. one of them, their advantages. All right, all right. 22 for Vidar. Okay. 19 for not Vidar. Okay. Okay, the, the, and us too? Uh, yep, everyone. Yep. Everybody. Everyone. Wait, what? <clears throat> what was this? Boom. You're uh, making wisdom. The, 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 the wisdom saving throw? You know, the, the one that uh, fucked you last time? The I agony mean, of hell. I'm already in agony, though. I know. Double, double agony. Get ready for it. <laughs> well, you're either going to continue to be in agony or not be in agony. Okay, then I'm going to use my advantage. Yeah. My last advantage. Yeah. Do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, I believe that's just fifteen. Yeah, you, you, uh, you kind of knuckle down and 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 push the voices out, um, and are no longer agonized. God, I was doing my saving throws wrong, but okay. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? I was plus two on wisdom saving throws this whole time, but I don't oh. think it mattered because my last rolls were so bad. That's, you would have missed by one because you rolled a nine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Stieg. All right. Um, Vidar has um, disappeared like Usain Bolt uh, up the steps. Uh, uh, there is uh, the tormented spirit behind you, uh, a series of Draugr and, and villagers in front of you. Okay, you, I am. What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to dash away. Actually, I'm going to cast a expeditious retreat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bonus action. Nice. And dash. I don't know how far would thirty feet be. Uh, that's probably good. Right about there. Yep. And then. Um, I'm going to keep running yep. with one dash action to get as far as I can up here. Yeah, you can. You'll come up right behind. Also, because you can bonus action dash, you can move, and then you can also oh. dash again if you like, which would get you to about where Vidar is. Kind Actually, of I'm going to. Okay, so wait. Bonus action dash yep. i can move how far would my regular movement get me okay before i do that regular movement i'm going to turn around and uh blast that ghost with a firebolt okay because he's a dick <laughs> he is a dick whoops i keep enlarging myself oh you're, there we you're go. so you're so big mm. um <laughs> so you work out ranged spell attack <laughs> okay we have this like Come on, track record of yoked wizards for some reason. <laughs> uh, that's, okay. Arms are big. Nineteen. Throwing yeah. spells. That's That'll right. do it. Twenty-five to hit. Yep, that definitely hits. For seven fire damage. Yes, you engulf this spirit in flames and it winks out of existence. And then I'll use my rest of my movement to 30 feet, however close that gets me. Okay, yeah. Um, that should do it. Okay. Uh, me, let me make some off-scene rolls for some dudes. Yeah, whoa, whoops. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, 
and the uh, Tyra reaches out her other hand sorry one hand kind of holding aloft not really holding but like motioning uh, aloft the the form of uh, Torgir and the other hand kind of reaches out to the side and you can kind of see a coalescing that happens in the in these flames um the two of you who are there you almost feel gunder to you it almost you can almost feel the pull um as if you know as if something is being kind of pulled like if something as big as being pulled through the water you know you can kind of feel that motion um you kind of feel that energy happening um and you see a a flaming um sword get pulled out of 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 this fire and and kind of comes to her hand um and she is going to attempt to put it into the uh body of torgir in a not nice way i don't think there's a good way to put a sword in somebody's body gonna toss that out there that's uh, that's i guess you know you're not wrong um yeah and she sucks at it uh turns out that just because you are uh possessed by the goddess of hell or or some such being that uh it doesn't mean you're a good sword fighter <laughs> even when somebody is uh, incapacitated um and uh can i use she, a reaction i mean it's 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 hard enough to hold somebody in that like Darth Vader grasp, but then you gotta like hit and him bitch at the same slap time. Him, right? Yeah, you gotta bitch slap him. <laughs> yep. It's like it's yeah, when you man. when you're playing baseball by yourself and you're throwing the ball up and you swing and you still hit it. Yeah, it's the same. That is it's the same thing. Uh, or you still miss it, you know, instead of try to hit it. Um, can I use a reaction? You, sure. To just can I shout out as a reaction? I mean, I don't have it as a reaction on my sheet, but can I shout oh, sure. something? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Vidar will shout out from the the doorway to the temple. Tyra, unhand it, the priest. Stop this madness. Um, she kind of, um, I think she kind of half half turns and like this whole kind of. He, he kind of moves with her a bit um, and uh, the the sword kind of comes comes back as if it's ready to try to stab into him again um, and she said you hear um, not really a voice from her per it, 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 but more of a voice around um, and you hear it say you can resist but that only makes it sweeter Um, oh shit she's in her goth face yep that's right (laughs) Goonder there's a lot of that around here Goonder (laughs) it's time to get up the ska beats to end that goth phase which is hey I approve of both goth (laughs) and ska so this is this is a conundrum um uh, in which case uh Gunder is gonna kind of throw his sword arm back behind him with the tip uh reaching out towards the outside of the temple uh and as his bonus action he casts thunderous smite Ooh. uh which empowers the blade for the next melee attack he makes will do extra damage and have an effect if it fails to save and he's gonna wind up and take a swing at Tyra. Big swinging. Big swingy style. Which is only a thirteen. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Nope. It's not gonna do it. Thankfully, uh, that's a concentration spell, so I'm good to hold on to it for a minute. Yeah. As you I think as you swing, um the it's almost almost as if um the 
like these kind of spectral like hell flames like uh, gain a, a a a solidness, um, and it it just kind of slows your strike um, in resistance. Yeah, Vidar. that's all I got. Vidar. Um, Vidar looks in, taking quick notice uh, if Gunder has a dagger on his belt by any chance. He has a couple of daggers, and like this may be the first time you've noticed, but he's got one on his belt, and there's definitely at least one in a boot. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but Vidar is going to race in using the speed of the Zephyr, mm -hmm. and he is going to grab as he passes by Gunder. He's gonna he's gonna grab Gunder's dagger out of his out of the sheath on his belt, mm -hmm. and he's gonna go in for a two weapon attack on Tyra. Okay. I like it. I'll allow it. You know, okay. roll for it. That seems that seems rad as hell. All right. Um. So you just watch as this flash of Vidar f goes past you, Gunder, and he is going to make his first attack with this this magical sax. Uh, I'm gonna use advantage. I should have specified, which is not good. That's gonna be a 13, which I think misses. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the dagger attack, um, buh, 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 it's going to be a 17. That will hit. What is the damage on that? Is that a d4 plus my dex? Yes. Okay. Uh, so that'll be eight, eight piercing damage. And then he is going to use the rest of his movement. Actually, yep, he's going to use the rest of his movement to kind of blast past her. Okay. Uh, and get to the opposite side of, of her from where Gunder is. So okay. that's kind of in a flanking position. All right. And that's my turn. Man, I really feel like I should have come prepared with a like a fucking map for this. <laughs> that would have been smart of me, wouldn't That's it? That's all right. Theater of the mind, baby. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. Astrid. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to continue my movement to try to get into the temple um, and continue the movement of my spiritual weapon to follow me. Yeah, I think uh, with your m normal movement, uh, we'll say you can get, like, uh, so Vidar and Gunder are, like, in the temple. You can probably get to uh, just right outside, like, you know, within another set of movement to to get into the temple. You can see, you can see in into the temple. Can I see the enemies in the temple? Um, yeah, I would say, um, they would, uh, she would probably have, uh, uh, what would that be? Maybe, uh, cover, 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 maybe half cover, um, uh, just because of angles and whatnot, but, um, y you do have sight on her for sure. Would she get any advantage on a of cover on a wisdom saving throw? Uh, not at all. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I great am, question though. Great I am question. going to like reach deep down into my soul and oh. I like reach out my hand uh, towards Tyra, who I could just barely see beyond my friends. Um, and I'm going to shout, you cannot contain him. Know his might and weep. And I'm going to cast Draining Gaze. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Draining, draining um, Gaze. What is that? Yeah, baby. Is that a, new, is that a, is that a spell? That's got to be a spell. It is. It is. Um, okay. 
So I designate a target and set my dreadful eyes upon it. It has to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, And then so let me know what happens. I'm gonna use my I advantage. see a one. I see a one. I used an advantage. I have to use yeah, advantages. You, you've got them. Use them, baby. Oh, yeah, I gotta use them. I have, I have four left. Um, That's it. <laughs> I keep forgetting to use them. Um, it's okay. Oh, there's no half damage. That's no, small. it's just save or don't. Wow. All or nothing. Fair enough. She said. Damn. Yeah. Mm. I, the darkness that was fizzling around my feet fades, and the spell does not take effect. It's a wicked awesome spell. <laughs> that is gross. Wicked awesome. 46 psychic yeah. damage. And target's hit point max is reduced by the amount of damage you deal. Wow. That, there are not Ooh. enough in, effects that do that. Yeah, I'm until lovely. they finish long rest. Like, we can't fix it. That's that's some specter business, and that is the business I am here for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so the that's, kind of that's crazy... All I, that's all I get. That's the kind of crazy stuff these uh, Dream Realm storytellers thinks up. It's like, ah, no kidding. yeah. It Thanks was going to be so good. Um, <laughs> the wail uh, of uh, souls in hell um, fills your ears again. Uh, please, everyone, make uh, wisdom saving throws. Those of you who are inside uh, the uh, flames, uh, Vidar and Gunder, uh, your target number is 14. The rest of you is 12. I'm going I'm to use an advantage on that. I am also going to use my final advantage, my last one. Okay. That is a 15. I'm good. No no advantages to use. Uh, 17 for a Oh, well, that's a a 12, just barely, with my inspiration. Thank you, chat. (laughs) We love you, chat. We love you. (laughs) We love you, chat. So, Stieg is... Gunder, what did you get? 15. 15, so you passed. So everyone passed again, except for Stieg. Yep. Stieg? What this the hell, a, man? This is a... Oh, Stieg's got an advantage from Kai Whimsy. Is it too late to use that? <laughs> you want to use it, buddy? <laughs> buddy. Yeah, yeah. Have to. Do Come it. on, friend. It's now or never, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, my, oh my God. God. What? Same, God was it. that the same roll? I think it was the same roll. Yeah. I rolled... Two sixes, and then earlier the I VTT hates you today. Yeah, it yeah. really does. <laughs> All right, Steak. so your movement is reduced by ten, and you will take three points of psychic damage. Still up, but I'm, am I agonized again? You are agonized. Yep. Yeah. That's fun. That's the effect of the mm-hmm. agonized. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, I, actually, yeah, I forgot. Uh, and the rest of you, I'll take one damage. Oh, man. Oh, all of us just for being around? Yeah, because okay. it, it was I, it was everyone took half damage. You you take some damage if you oh, make oh, it. Oh, right, right, right. And right. less damage if you, or more damage if you fail, less damage if you make it. Forgot about that. Um, okay. And Steak. Okay. Your friends are now gathered. Uh, Strangely, around this temple. Um, well, I will move up. Let's see. Well, my movement is slowed. It is. I mean, at least... Can I get yeah. to there? Yeah. At least get closer to Astrid. Um, <laughs> and... Hi! <laughs> I'm going to cast False Life on myself again. Yep. Nice. Um, that is smart. I will use my let's see, last second level spell to upcast that. Nice. So that was um, D four plus four, and that's plus five. five. Come on. 
or T4 plus 9, we could say. That would make it make sense. Yes, nice. nice! Again, <laughs> maximum maximum temp hit points. All right, so that's um, 13, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm never not going to take this spell from mm-hmm. now on. <laughs> like, that's such a res. I don't know why I've never taken it before. I didn't. Yeah, I haven't been using it yet, and now I see that that was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, that's my action, my movement. I can bonus action dash because um, Expeditious Retreat is still up, or does that go down? It would go down because you are agonized. Agonized. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll just stay here and look agonized. Okay. <sighs> what does that look like? Uh. What is that? What is, show us on the face what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, the Tyra will now uh, turn her little, 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 turn her gaze uh, upon Vidar, who has uh, wounded struck, her. Struck her. Uh, with an amount of damage mm-hmm. um, and swing her blue flamed sword upon her oh. um, and um, you know what I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my advantage just use my advantage uh, for a mm. uh, a 22. Yep, yep, that'll hit. All right, all right. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. How much damage does a sword do? How much damage does a sword do? Oh yeah, D eight. D eight. So you'll take six points. Seven. I'm sorry. Seven points of slashing damage. Six and, points. Uh, seven. Seven points of slashing damage. Got it. Got it. As well as Excuse me. eight points of cold damage. Burr, but as, as the as the uh, these icy blue flames uh, lick uh, from the blade to your flesh. Now I am a native of the cold. I have advantage yep. against saving throws, saving throw effects due to cold. That doesn't apply. Uh, sorry, nothing else helps me there. Okay. Okay. I see London. I see France. Iciness will encapsulate the world once hell is set loose. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. I'll just make some uh, other rolls. Yeah, I'm not going to make those rolls anymore. I'll, I'll make that one. Okay. Um, we're only concerned with this. Gunder. Oh, it's cold. <sighs> yeah, it's it's time to hit the, the the goth girl with a sword full of thunder. I feel real bad about this, but I'm doing it anyway. Nah, nah, nah. It's mercy killing time. It you is, but a 12 don't it. hit. Get over it, it would you? It doesn't. A 12 I, doesn't I'm trying, hit. but the dice aren't with me. <laughs> the only thing that can defeat a goth is another goth. This, this Get is to probably it. probably true. What about new wave? <laughs> no, goths. Destroyed me. Well, actually, technically, metal killed them all. So, it, yep. and metal comes from hell. This, so, metal does. It will never. The metal will never die. Uh, Vidar. Okay. <clears throat> so, Vidar, unlike unlike Dave, Vidar is not an idiot, and Vidar would have <laughs> known at, during the last round of combat. Mm -hmm. to cast favor or to not cast but that his favored foe ability would have kicked in because Mm. he hit her yep now the question is is chad okay with that yeah i did not i did not say that Uh, yeah sure yeah but vidar is not as much of a dumb dumb as i am um okay so vidar is going to spin around and he is going to attack Tyra. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay. First with the sacks. 
And I am going to use my Zephyr Strike feature to... And I believe the way Zephyr Strike works is that um, it lasts for a minute. Once I use this, it ends. So I get advantage on the attack. And this attack will deal an extra D8 force damage. So I'm going to go ahead and roll it with advantage. <sighs> Freya, guide my blade. Uh, natural 20. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Um, so that means I'm going to do, uh, how do I roll the damage? First, I'm going to roll the damage for the blade, which is 1d6 plus 5. So is that 2d6 plus 5? Because of the crit? Yeah, it's going to double the damage. Okay, so... Uh, to include the damage that the, the, the effect does. So it'll double your weapon damage and double, or double the, the weapon dice and okay. double the spell dice. Okay, so this is gonna be. So do I double that to four? Or do we? Do I roll a second time? So you're gonna roll double the dice. Got it. Okay. So, so, yeah, two d six and then two. Oh, so eight plus five is thirteen slashing, and then for the force damage is two d eight because of the crit. Yeah. Uh, so an extra seven force damage. Uh, the Zephyr Strike drops at that point. Yep. I think I think that's how it works. Um, and he is then going to use his bonus action to strike with the dagger. Um, mm -hmm. Someone... Did anybody give me advantage? Nope. Okay. <laughs> there is an advantage hanging out in chat for whoever needs it from Vamp Wickman. And you're acting. Take it. All right. So I will attack with my dagger. Or actually, Gunder's dagger. It. Uh, yeah. 19, so that will be, um, so a total of 26, and the damage will be, what happened? Oh, there it is. Uh, seven additional piercing damage. All right, all right. Whew. Man, I'm sweating. <laughs> yep, <clears throat> we got problems. It's hot in there. It is so hot in here. I came prepared. No sleep. I gotta, I gotta go sleeveless. <laughs> um, that is the end of my turn. Thank you, Vamp. Back we to do you. have right. tank tops in the merch store, FYI. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Sexy. That's right. <laughs> I should also say this, that when he's swinging the sacks, yep. you, you do hear the howl of a wolf. Because after all, it is called the Iron Howl Sax. Oh, did did that like attack Gus too? No, no. it's just it's okay. just flavor. It's only it's if just... he strikes it on on metal. Oh, I, and I forgot about that feature. So yeah, <laughs> much like Astrid, I haven't either. I'm like <laughs> Astrid again. Oh, God. It's your action. <laughs> oh, thunder! Yeah. Oh, Who's it's action? my action. Yeah. yeah. Um, me. Okay. Uh, I look over and I see Stieg running up and <laughs> it looks like he's being held together by magic and tape. Um, it's all and, good. Uh, and tape is magic in this setting, so just magic. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe some string. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go, ooh, and <laughs> cast... Ooh. Um, what do I want? Cure wounds on him. Oh. Yeah. Um, so that is, um, yeah, I'm just going to reach over and like touch him. Um, and it is 1d8. Uh, plus my spellcasting ability modifier. So three plus. Um, seven. Modifier. So regain nice. seven hit points. Nice. Um, oh, nice. Which isn't a lot, but you know what? It certainly helps. Thank you. It's better than now where I was. Now um, you're held together by magic and duct tape. 
Yeah. Instead of just scotch tape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, a wheel might fall off, but you're fine. That. That's right. That's right. Um, and then I, I'm going to draw my spiritual weapon closer. Okay. Um, hopefully, eventually, it's going to catch up with me. Um, how many, how far away is it? It's, uh, let's say that it is, uh, it is at you now. Um, so. Okay. You know, it'll probably, depending on what happens, you know, it might be two rounds before you can leverage it again. Yeah. Because it moves, what, 20, 20 feet? Okay. So I'm more than 20 feet away from the action? Yes. All right. That's it. That's all I can do. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move a little bit further for okay. like the rest of my action. You know, maybe like 10 feet further sure. towards what's going yeah. on. And then that's it. Yeah. We don't need to use the map in any real way now. <laughs> it's it's pointless at this point. Um it is, of course, the top of the round. Um, so, oh, uh, I forgot to uh, agonize Stieg, uh, and that's my bad. Um, everybody, uh, please make a wisdom saving throw. Um, Vidar and Gunder, uh, DC 14. Uh, the rest of you, DC 12. 16 total. I got another advantage, so I'm going to use that now. Thanks, okay. Kai Whimsy. This one's going to be lucky. Come on! Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> All right. So are like rolling like 17, 16, I should just stop 14, using the advantage. and a steam. Yeah, right? I should just stop using it. <laughs> you got to <laughs> trust, your, trust your instincts. Use the force. Woo! Um, Thank you. So, Stieg, you will take two points of psychic damage. The rest of you will take one point of psychic damage. And, Stieg, you are agonized. Um, Ouch. But just two points of damage, right? Yep. Thanks, God. Yeah. Um, and uh, Vidar and Gunder, mm. um, you have been in this uh, fire uh, stuff, this fire area of Hellfire um, uh, long enough that it is becoming uh, 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 a little more than uncomfortable. Um, and I would like you to take two points of cold damage now, please. Uh, as, well, as I the- would like to politely refuse. Well, well I, I mean, I respect that decision um, and kindly don't care. Oh, <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> I don't mean to impose, but you will take two points of cold damage. I'm sorry. Was I was I, I, I was I uh, was I too forgiving in my <laughs> in my tone? But I'm very kind. You're just you're, you're, you're DMing <laughs> like you're a series of of Japanese laws, which are apparently all phrases very polite but strong suggestions perhaps if you could not kill another person while you live here that would be nice <laughs> um, <laughs> such are the laws of our country uh Stieg, uh it is uh you have the con as they would say uh were we in a starship beam us up okay um not getting into the fire but from outside can i see yeah, yeah absolutely yeah it is it is it is pretty easy for you um even with reduced movement to um maneuver yourself into a place where you have line of sight unobstructed all right i'm i'm gonna pull the uh ansu's rune stone again and fire off a magic missile at her heck yeah okay god those rune stones are amazing three okay yeah, I always I really forget like. how to do these. Okay, three. I really. Like You're just rolling three d four plus three. Force damage. That's another nice. great Dream Realm storyteller nice. device that can be easily 13. imported into other games. Yeah, thirteen yeah. force damage. Nice, dude. So that would be 
47. Yeah, I really like it as a, like, it's just an easy way to, you know, use any kind of like, whether it's a runestone or enchanted, like, spell casty like object. I love it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, your B, your, uh, your, your darts of force, um, puncture the meniscus of, of hellfire and, uh, uh, Perhaps there is a a, a slightly more pronounced uh, set of screams as they impact into her her body. Although um, it is a different voice than uh, the voice that spoke to you, which doesn't feel pain. Um, mm. Oh, it's my turn! It's my turn. Yeah. We are killing uh, the host. <laughs> Hopefully. I, um, mm. Are we though? Are we? <laughs> We're killing what they're all after. That's true. Oh, Kai Whimsy, damn you. I was starting to like you too. Kai Whimsy just gave you a advantage, Chad. He's got like eight <laughs> on it. No, no okay. to the, the host specifically. Yeah, the host oh. now has advantage. Yes, to, to the, the goddess nice. who's oh. attacking us. Dare yes. you, Kai Whimsy? How dare you? The host advantage. Oh, I like that. Um, the let's see. Uh, you see, uh, you uh, you all hear um, uh, a a string of of words um, kind of come from. Uh, around you come from uh tyra um as uh, as she casts icicle of death um uh, and a large uh portion of black ice uh forms um up and around the body of torgir um And uh, she is going to make a uh, ranged attack against him with this icicle. Another spill in spell. Yeah, icicle of death is badass. Um, and she will connect with him, uh, and he will take an amount of damage. Oh, oh that's Oof. that's less good. That's not ignore the two, but still. Um, this uh, ice, this this large portion of black ice pierces into him, and and he he screams, um, and you can see like his flesh kind of, you know, sear freezing as things do when they're really cold, um, mm -hmm. and uh, and also just to let you know, uh, because it would be weird if I didn't, because there is rules for this. Um, you can attack and destroy this icicle. Oh, well, because the spell gives you gives the icicle uh, armor class and hit points and stuff. Um, so I, I, it, it behooves me to let you know that that is a possibility. Um, Love that. <laughs> still, that's badass. Um, so yeah, so that happened. Um, Gunder, what would you like to do? I'm going to tr keep trying to hit her with my sword and hopefully okay. succeed. I'm, in fact, going to use the advantage I just got because I need to. Oh, boy. So here we go. Well, that's a crit for oh boy. 26. You and still got your, is your smite still up? Yes. Was that a natural so 20? So that will also oh, double yeah. damage. My natural so, 20. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. Here, let me put, uh, let, nice. me put let me put the, the natural Kyle 20 about in the Twitch chat. Natural 20. So, initial damage is... Awesome, dude. Uh, 14 regular damage, and then... Eleven thunder, extra thunder damage. 
Oh, hell yeah. Uh, and then she also has to make a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. Wow. Mm. Sorry, th- pushed 10 feet away and knocked prone. It is a strength save. Yeah. Uh, what's the DC? Is 16 better than it? I'm looking right now. But probably. Oh, yeah, it's only a 13. Okay. That was amazing, though, Gwinder. So how much total damage was that? 24? 24. Um, Please describe for me uh, what it looks like uh, as um, you smite her. The uh, He had to charge it. He had held his blade back out, and there might have been, like, a little bit of, um, like, St. Elmo's fire on the blade as he held the concentration up. But in, and he just, you know, he's missed, he's missed, and finally, I think, he just drops his shield, goes with both hands, um, and just a primal scream as he brings it down, and the blade just kind of explodes with the might and power of Thor um, in this sacred space against the, um, at this point, unholy forces of hell. Yeah. Awesome. So you you strike her um, and she doesn't fall um, as because she made that saving throw um, and this uh, the energy in your sword connects with the uh, the energy that exists um, for all of those willing to call it down in the heavens um, and a, a, a massive lightning bolt uh, strikes her um, and um, it it blinds you for um a second um ears ringing you know deadening out the the screams of of uh, and wails of hell um and uh gunder you you know your vision kind of clears first um and you can see uh the uh, the body of tyra kind of laying a few feet from you um and uh a you know massive wound um in a a part of her body that you attacked um uh blood flowing freely um and um i am going to uh with advantage since uh she was the host was given advantage um i'm going to make a wisdom saving throw against possession with advantage. And um, she she uh, looks at you and for um, a, like a fraction of a heartbeat, you feel like the baleful gaze of, of perhaps of the goddess hell herself. Um, but then... Um, there is like a, uh, you know, the, the like a like now, um, and the the girl Tyra, um, perhaps now uh, herself is looking at you um, uh, with an almost uh, thankful look on her face, and she breathes her last. There. Oof. There on the floor because you hit a shit on a fucking damage shooter. Wow! <laughs> and uh, that's that's how that goes. The um, uh, Vidar. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. Uh, what would you like to do? So uh, Tyra has fallen. Yeah. Um, are, is the ice still encapsulating Tor Tor gear? Um. You uh, fade you kind of well? shake off. You shake off the the kind of flash of the of the lightning strike, um, and you can see um, that uh, Torgir is laying um, a number of feet, kind of against the wall, um, opposite uh, opposite the door. Um, and there's a there's a pretty large like stab wound um, somewhere in his in his body. Um, but you you can see shards of ice um, as uh, they have it has been broken. 
I will race up to Torgir and I will use cast or I will cast Cure Wounds on him. Okay. Uh, so that's D eight plus five. For a total of 12 hit points for him. Okay. Healing. And then, he, uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, he, uh, he, he kind of gasps as, as your healing magics take effect and you can see his wound close. Um, and he, he kind of, his, his vision kind of, um, focuses on you, you know, it's kind of the, like, <laughs> ah, washed out vision of, of, of a person in, in shock. Um, but his, his vision kind of co- focuses on you and he, and he nods and, and says, oh, thank you. You will be okay, but your temple is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, Vidar will kind of make sure that he's, you know, sitting and then he'll race back out into the cold uh, mm-hmm. to look for another target because he knew there was more going on. Okay. Did he hear anything um, or see anything happening? Any sort of combat still in progress that he needs to? Sure. Um, to? Give me a give me a perception roll. And I'll send. You know, obviously, uh, Iceland is also probably aware of things that are happening. Um, okay. She's flying about, but yeah, perception. Um, it's gonna be a twenty-two. Twenty-two, nice. Uh, let's see. Oh my! So, um, you you look out. There's you uh, kind of through Iceland's eyes. You you see that the the men here are still, or the townsfolk are still kind of fighting these Draugr, and they've they've kind of moved back. And it's it's the the battles kind of moved away a bit from the from the beach um as as it ebbed and flowed um and you see um for the first for the first time appearing in midwinter keening mm. um, <laughs> you see uh, no there we go. You see uh, the large figure of 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 black eye, the the blacksmith, mm. uh, smite uh, the last hell wolf uh, with his uh, blacksmith's hammer. Okay, wow, um, that guy's a badass. Um, uh, but yeah, so there's still some there's still some Draugr fighting. Um, Okay. Uh, there's, so there's a bit of there's probably up actually to do. still some there's probably still some Draugr fighting happening up here as uh those those Draugr who were turned um are fighting those guys cuz Astrid's not there to well, turn them anymore. Well, Vidar definitely ran past this fight down here towards the uh lake, the river. Yep. So he's going to he's going to run back knowing that there's a, still a fight there. He's going to run back and try to help out those townsfolk. Okay. Sure. You can see kind of as you do that um uh Don is quickly approaching in a real light sort of way cuz as when this started it was kind of pre-dawn uh still a little dark. Uh but now uh a nice light is coming on the horizon. Mm. You know what? Master. Oh, I, go ahead. I have a bonus action still. Yeah, man. Um, you know what though? I can't I can't do that. Nope, I'm done. Okay. Master. I would like to do uh, a medicine check on the girl to see um like how dead is she? Sure, sure. <laughs> Yeah, you you rush in. Um, and and uh, also, is she still possessed, like that aura, or is that weird? Sure, you um, you can see uh, kind of as you move into the temple proper uh, that the 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 flames are quickly fading, um, um, almost as if you know there were. You know how sometimes in in like a movie or a TV show things just kind of fade out, like in uh, 
uh, Back to the Future when his sister's picture just kind of faded out of the photo. Oh yeah, you know it's kind of it's kind of that mm-hmm. effect, so that you can still see them, and then they just get less and less tangible. Um, and the these kind of stream, s- screams, these agonizing wails and stuff um, are sounding more and more distant. Um, but yeah, uh, give me a, a medicine roll. Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. For as as far as like most people are concerned, she's dead as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Like um, yeah, requiring a big... like a resurrection, possibly if we wanted to bring her back. Kind of. Thing. I mean, realistically, like yeah. You know. Y- yeah, um, skills far beyond yeah. what I got. <laughs> yeah, it would probably yeah. take a resurrection. Okay. I think at this point, the things the things holding her together uh, uh, during those during the combat were uh, 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 pr- more so the the goddess. Okay. And she is obviously yeah. not not possessed anymore. Okay, and that flame sword disappeared, right? It's not like um, a physical sword that is. Oh no, it's laying right there. It's kind of like, um, it kind of like spun out near the near uh, kind of where like the altar part of the of the temple would be. Uh, the flames have gone out on it, um, but it yeah, it's a essentially a large like sax. Yeah. I'm so, going to, uh, like, sword, rip part of my underskirt and wrap it, like, around the, um, around my hand and, like, kind of grab it. And it's not still on fire, right? It is not. Okay. I I will shove it in a bag. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. And then, yeah, I'll I'll see if I can make my way towards something that's happening. Okay. Probably next turn. Um, yeah, let's, um, let us, um, pull ourselves, uh, from the minutia of the initiative order. Um, and, uh, you know, just talk about what's happening, uh, like normal people outside of initiative order. Um, (laughs) there is, uh, there is still some combat happening in town. Um, there are um, there, there are buildings on fire. Uh, there are people who have been injured, um, uh, and the like. Um, and this mess that you find yourselves immediately in as well. Um, I guess. Uh, w- what would you like to do? Um, what? Uh, uh, how would you like to help or not help or, 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 uh, um, how do you interact with, uh, this, uh, landscape that is your town under siege? Although at the tail end of it, I am sure we can all tell. Hmm. Well, Vidar will definitely be down in the, in the fight, you know, mopping up whatever remaining Draugr or other fiends or undead. Okay. You know, beast might have uh, attacked, and then quickly transition to firefighting. Awesome. I'm gonna see if I can spare the dying on any townspeople. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> as Torgir is, you know, kind of laid up, and and I've got this cantrip that I could easily resuscitate a few innocents if I could. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll get to that. Uh, uh, uh Stieg? Stieg is going to be trying to help Vidar, but from up on top of this ridge behind okay. him, just like, f- just throwing firebolts down at Draugr and trying to, you know, 
help fight them off, but from a safe distance. You're just up there. You just every now and then, Vidar, you hear artillery, and then you just see magic <laughs> missiles just flying. Magic missiles and, <laughs> and fire fire bolts and <laughs> love it. Uh, Gunder. Um. Well, first, Gunder is going to um go to Tyra. Tyra kind of cross her um, arms over her chest, take off his cloak, and kind of use that as a shroud over her. Okay. Um, he's going to look very, very weary for a moment um, and then pick himself up, and he's going to be out doing the same thing that um, Astrid is, except okay. uh, he's he's got 20 hit points of lay on hands, and sure. thanks to the magic of D&D, one hit point's an awful lot, especially if people are near death. Yeah. So... Yeah, I think with uh, with you get a hit um, point. You get a hit point. You get a hit point. <laughs> That's right. Look under your seat. You get you get five hit points. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, I think uh, with your allotted uh, skills and abilities and powers and magics, um, uh, and you uh, are able to you know with the townsfolk and. You know, and you know, and as you kind of get out and and are kind of making your way around and and, and helping people, you know, you see, um, you see um, that uh, now maybe some one of you makes makes their way towards the gate, and you, uh, you know, you're able to see like, um, wow, I can't remember fucking people's names. The Jarl um, and and some of his men um, have have kind of moved in and and they're taking down the last of the dragger out by the gate um and uh vidar you're you're you know down on the down on uh, down on the lower part down on the beach fighting these guys uh with with some of the townsfolk and and uh you know you can see uh that uh angst angst is there as well um and he's just like smashing, just obliterating Draugr, uh with 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 strokes of his of his sword. Um, I kind of give him the nod as I see him fighting, and you know, acknowledging each other, and continuing to fight. You almost think he might want to try to smash you, but he doesn't. Duck out of the way. Guy's a dick. Uh, yeah, he is a. It, he's a. Turns out he's a berserker. <laughs> so he's a little bit in the frenzy, um, and you know, Stieg, you you are just lobbing fire bolts and magic missiles and leveraging your your runes and arcane power uh, to. Uh, I wouldn't say rain hellfire because that in this case is a little different you know you know rain rain the 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 power of of literally the power of odin perhaps and mimir um upon the uh upon your foes um astrid and gunder you're you know you help um uh save um innumerable people um uh fighters you know uh and 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 non fighters, you know, people who had been uh, the young who'd been running and, and got cut down, uh, you're able to save, and and those who had been run through fighting fighting Draugr and fighting these these hell creatures and these hell wolves and and whatnot, um, you're able to save uh, a number of people. You're of course also not able to save plenty of folks as well. Um, as this uh, battle uh, went on for some time and you weren't able to be everywhere. Um, and I think what we'll do is we'll say, hey, the sun is is coming. It has crested over the horizon. Um, you feel uh, a warmth uh, that you uh, feel like you haven't felt in ages um, as it's, as it's uh, the morning light uh, beats down upon you greets greets you in a, a very nice and friendly way which is way better than any greeting you've had in the last like hour um, <laughs> um 
and uh, we will um, we'll pick up next time, right there. I think I think, I think we I think, are I think we are heroes. We'll see if they blame us for bringing her back or not. Indeed. Good call. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> we shall all now shut our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> but is it not to give the DM any ideas. Oh, wow. Nice. That, that was, was fun. Well done, everyone. Fuck. Well done. Stieg. <laughs> you're I'm surprised alive, you're dude. still alive. You're still alive, bro. Uh, honestly, you should be down, dead. I got down to three hit points there for a oh, minute. Wow. Damn. When I was you, out on the ice. You ready, you ready for a punchline? Gunder didn't even go through half his hit points. Yeah. I, cool. I had a lot of agonizing <laughs> going on. Yeah, I... I, uh... I'm down 29 hit points. I was actually really surprised. I... These... <laughs> those dudes, they can do a lot, but... I Like, I dumbed them down a little bit because, of course, they're large and in charge. Larger and in charge. Which ones? Than, the brutes? Than, they're like the brutes. And even yeah. the... Let's I look, at, even let's look the, at them uh, for a minute. Tell, even Chad, the, uh, tell us about this brute. Is it just like, are they indeed fat or is that just like sloughing skin that's sagging off their bodies? Like, what's me, going on? Let me, let me get down there here. Like, they've got entrails. Or is that a translation <laughs> deal? Hanging out of their. Telling them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the brutes are. That's So, with its body made of mutilated flesh and and layers of fat. Oh, it looks like an abomination. Blood stains all over its torso and arms. Oh. Um, yeah, it eats people that it slaughters. Oh. All right, all right. Yeah. Let's talk about Person the hell. Does. What about the hell tormentor? Look at this guy. He's the got eyes tormentor. all over his body and a and a eyes, whip with nose, a... mouths. Jeez, what? Why? Yeah. With a towering body ridden with scars and malicious runes, the Hell Tormentor is a terrifying representation of Helheim. It torments some of the weak and unlucky souls doomed to live in torment in Helheim. These horrid creatures sometimes find their way to Svealand and continue to torment there. Look, and then there's everybody's favorite, the Draugr Guardian. Yeah, there was like one of those, but you yeah. fucking defeated he's got it right away. A, he's got an arrow in his, in his skull already, so they already start out pummeled with arrows it looks like <laughs> yeah and don't care they don't give they're, a shit they're everybody's favorite you though you know fan favorite there you go they're they're pretty awesome these creatures in this book uh but by the way a book that you could potentially win audience chat people uh by entering drs into the chat these creatures are crazy there's and the art for them is so good yeah 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 that's good yeah, wow it's just Terrifying. I didn't even have a stag head there. They're less cool. Although they do have an ability called Carnage. And what was the uh what was the 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 ghost or the specter called? The uh, tormented spirit. Tormented spirit. Tormented soul or something. Yeah. There's, yeah. You that can't even just soul. kill things in this game. They like come back and then attack you again. <laughs> Double undead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The hell tormentor can l literally just. It says summon it, but I felt it was cooler if it could, if he just pulls pulls souls out of those he kills. Yeah. Like that's epic. Mm -hmm. It's uh, kind of like what uh, mm -hmm. what Theo does in Salt Marsh with the conscripted souls. Maybe he's a hell tormentor in disguise. You can't prove anything about a possible crossover. <laughs> uh, big crossover event in the works, folks. You heard it here first. So much goodness. Should we give some shit away? I think we yes. should. Yes. Yes. We should. Um, anyway, yeah. Thanks to everyone oh, yeah. who's around. Thanks for the advantages. Oh, um, that's appreciated. Um, I know our players appreciated that. We appreciate that. It also helps us uh, get more stuff to do more stuff for for y'all. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, we could even tease that we uh, we're using some of those cheers that you've given us over the last uh, months to get some custom art for our Salt Marsh game, which we're true. super excited about. Yeah, so thank you getting... to the chat for for the ability to do that. We, we're doing that with your help. So thank you. 
Which, you know, is a little bit damped on by the fact that it was a TPK last night. But hey, we'll still... Oh, you'll be a great spoiler memorial. alert. Ooh, ooh, just kidding. <laughs> the search for Dan Virius is what we're going to call the next... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next phase. Beyond no. Salt Marsh 4, 3, The Search for Dan Various. Yeah, yeah. That means right. the next episode involves whales. Ooh. Well, there is a really <laughs> big shark. I'll well, tell there, you were that. there were Three. sharks, so whales. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Sharks. Zombie sharks. <laughs> hey, the fox den is here. Hey. 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 Uh, we're just about to give some really cool stuff away. You don't even need to know what it is. Just type DRS in the chat and you will be entered to win. But I will tell you what it is. We're going to be giving away... Chad, listen to this. You aren't, you're not even going to believe this, Chad. We're giving away from our sponsors at Dream Realm Storytellers. They've donated their course Sveeland campaign setting rulebook, the South Sea Region Guide, the Untold Saga lore book, Into the Wolf's Maw, which is an adventure for levels one through six, I think. I and then level, Freya's Tears, which is one through 20 campaign. Which sounds awesome. Um, you guys, type DRS into the chat. We're going to give something away. Let's do it. Should I'm we do excited. it? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. All right. Uh, Ashley, why don't you give us the five uh, five count countdown? Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, and go. Here we go. TTRPG Academy. Hey, this is great because you can you can go ahead and stream this on your channel. This is great. You're gonna run you can run a Sveeland campaign. That's where we're at, folks. Congratulations. So if you're in the chat, spread the agony. Exactly. (laughs) Feel the agony. So good. So a whole lot of agony. Ugh. Yeah, What's on the docket now? Should we should we raid somebody? Awesome. What do you guys want to do? Let's do it. All right, let's see. Let's see who's playing. Let's, let's see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Gazumba, but he's probably ending. Nat thirties. We've raided Nat them 30s. a couple times. Rejects. Well, TTRPG so Academy. Cool. Let's raid him or them. Yeah. Heck what yeah. Are they, what are they up to? Uh, one shot presents the Monster Hunters, Monster Hunters Guild, a level 15 5e home. Yeah, we're definitely going to raid TTRPG Academy, the winners of our giveaway. Oh, yeah. All around swell people at, over there at the Academy. Are they all around swole people? Swole. I'm sure. I mean, Probably. if they are, uh, if they're wizards, they're definitely <laughs> swole. That's right. Swolzards. Swole. All right. Swole-zards. We are going to go ahead and kick into the raid here, guys. So join us. If you're yeah. if you've got a, a follow or sub to our channel, use some some of those sweet sweet emotes. And Chad, always, thanks everyone for joining us. We'll be back next week. We'll be back on Wednesday as well with Beyond Salt Marsh. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see you then. Bye guys. <laughs>